Hi. Welcome to a new Geometry Nodes animation tutorial. You can make some cool animations with this technique. First go to Geometry Nodes and add a Curve Circle node. Now add a Curve to Points node. Using the count function of the curve to points node, we can add or remove points from the curve. This will help us to create our animation. Add an instance on points node and use a curve star as instance. Curve star has points, which are lines pointing outside. We can increase or decrease the length of the lines using the inner or outer radius of star. What we are going to do is, we instance an icosphere on all points of the star. By doing this, we can get the icospheres in a pattern. We can use these patterns to create some fun animations. Make the icospheres smaller by decreasing the radius. Use a math node divide function for finer controls. You can make the icospheres rounder by adding subdivisions. Also adding a set shade smooth node, you can make them smoother. Now we can add a material using set material node. I created a emission material. Use the gradient of few colors. After creating the material, go to Geometry Nodes and select the material from the material list. Use Eevee as Render Engine. Emissions looks great in Eevee. Also it render fast in Eevee. Add a Realize Instances node. Without Realize Instances, all icospheres consider as one object. Realizing will make all of them individual objects. Now we will get different colors on different icospheres. Now we can create our patterns. We only need Curve to Points node and Curve Star node for the animations. Now play with these values, to create some animations. Add a scene time node to automate the animation. 
After adding seam time node, you can press space button to play the animation. Use a math node to control the speed of the animation. Connect the scene time node to different sockets of the star node, which will give variety of animations. Also you can connect it to multiple sockets. Give different speed to different sockets. Add a multiply node and connect it to the divide node, for more variations of animations. Using these values you can create so many types of patterns. Also experiment with new nodes and math functions. Hope you like this video. If you learned something new, please subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video.